seen before. That alone is reason to rejoice. And we need to make it our determination to make it our choice to rejoice and be glad no matter what comes our way this day because it's the day that the Lord has made. And so we recognize that from the rising of the sun to its going down that the Lord's name is to be praised. We're going to bless and praise God throughout this day, taking several praise breaks, um, spending that time reminding ourselves that he is worthy of praise, giving thanks for all that he has done and is doing. And so we pray that God will give us this day our daily bread. Give us that manna from heaven, that bread of heaven, and that he would feed us until we want no more. We pray this day that his will will be done in our lives on earth as it is in heaven, and that we will use the nourishment that we receive from his manna, that we will use it to live for him and to glorify him this day. This is our prayer. Good morning, good morning. Um, I do have somebody else with me. Um, Representative Hudson, you are on mute and we don't see your, your here you come. There you go. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Yes. <laughs> I do have somebody with me this morning. 
<laughs> Praise God. Uh, and as you see, it is Representative Paula Hitz Hudson, and we are so glad that she is here. And um, let me say good morning to the crew. Good morning, Tom, Tony and Dawn and Celestine and Valerie and Clyde. Clyde, good to see you this morning. Mm -hmm. Heidi and Ellen and Deborah and Donna and sweet Trina and Nancy and Valerie and this always, I always lose my place when I get down there. Um, and Avis, they already say Avis. And let's see. Uh, and Teresa and Sonia. Sonia, I was praying for you last night. Pray that all is going well with you. Uh, and Deborah and Lily and Trish and Patty and Vanessa. And Latanya, Latanya, good to see you. Been thinking about you lately. All right, God bless all the crew who's in the house. And we are going to turn it over to Representative Paula Hicks Hudson and just want to remind us to continue to pray for her as we pray for our country. Uh, we just want to also pray for our state representative as well. So Representative Hudson, turning it over to you. Thank you so much, Pastor Ramona. And I just want to say thank you for all the work that you're doing. Um, and I hope I didn't freeze up because it looks like I'm frozen again on my my um, my my in my part from here. But I'm going to just go ahead because I know that God is able to do all things, even above the technology. Um, and what I want to talk to you about is really what we're dealing with right now. And it's like, you know, we're living in a pandemic. We're living in what the old people used to call was perilous times. And those perilous times is because we don't know what's to expect. You know, this year, last, this time last year, no one had any idea that we would be suffering from the COVID-19, from the, from the uh, isolation, the mask wearing, the social distancing, not being able to go to church or any of those things. And, but what God has told us, and I'm going to go to the um, to the scripture, which is uh, Matthew seventh chapter, the twenty fourth through the twenty eighth verse, which is about the wise and the foolish builder. Uh, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down. The, the streams rose and the wind blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down and the streams rose and the wind blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowd was amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. And these words are so powerful for us today because what it is saying is that if we build our, our house, our foundation on the rock, and we know that who that rock is, and that rock is Jesus. And if we build our house on that rock, we know that we have the we have eternal life. We have the resilience to be able to get through this life. Sometimes when we look in the Old Testament about the rock, that tells us that God is was the rock over His people. So God is also. A symbol of you know the rock is also a symbol of God, and that came out of Psalms 18 verses 1 through 3. And then we know about Peter, who said that Christ is the rock, and upon which the church was to be built. That was in Matthew 16, 13 through the 20th verses. So when we think about who that rock is, then we know that that rock is is Jesus. But how do we get that foundation built? And I think it's through studying the word, having morning manna every morning when we are able to get together and to hear the good news from someone. When we study the
Well, it seems we've lost her momentarily. We hope that uh, she, well, she comes how back. good she God comes. has been to allow us to wake up this morning, to look, to see us through, maybe on your job, a hard task or an assignment. To just be able to take a break and to breathe sometimes is a, is a moment for praise. But all the things um, you can't build over that foundation. That foundation has to be the same. But what about the house in this parable? This parable talks about that house, but isn't that house our lives? That if we don't have our life uh, based upon the foundation of the word and the scripture, how are we able to make it happen? Verse 24 says, everyone who hears the words and puts it into practice is like the wise builder. So we can listen and we can take these words, but if we don't use these words in our daily lives and rest on them and rely on them, then we're like the foolish builder who builds his house on sand. And when the rain come to speak about it in others wherever we go to show that we're able to stand and have the love of Christ, have the peace that passes all understanding during these chaotic times when folks don't know what they need to do, when they're afraid of, you know, of the COVID, when they're now afraid of the right wing people that come and are saying that they're going to take back their, this country and all those things, we have to have that blessed assurance that Christ and Jesus and God is with us throughout our days, throughout whatever we do. So when we think about this particular parable, and this was the, one of the last that, that Christ gave as part of his, um, his, um, sermon on the mount and the parables that he gave this is the one that the people who heard it knew that they were getting the real word they were getting it from someone who had authority and we know that that when we as christians move forward we also have the authority to speak with boldness and speak with truth because we have our foundation that solid rock and I'm going to end my little my little speech this morning by going to the Message Bible because I think it's kind of interesting how he how in today's language he says the same scripture that I read from my um, NIV Bible. These words I speak to you are not incidental uh, additions to your life, as a homeowner does improvements to your standard of living. They are foundational words to build a life on. If you want these words in your life, you, if you work these words in your life, you are like a smart carpenter who builds his house on a solid rock. I hope today that each and, each and every one of you, and including myself, remember that we want to be the smart carpenters. We want to be the ones who build our lives based upon the word of Christ. Um, and that, and I just think that when we do that, we're able to withstand these perilous times that oh, the old folks used to say. We're able to know that God has us, that we are able to be the light in a dark world. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank Rep you. I get it worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to close in prayer. Uh, and uh, we'll, we, we will continue to be praying for you as well you. as for our nation. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word that has been given to us this morning. Help us to be wise builders, Lord. Thank you that you are our rock and that in times like these, our anchor can hold and yes. grip the solid rock, which you are Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what we have heard today. We ask that you will go with us throughout this day, whatever this day may hold. Help us to hold on to 
the Solid Rock. Bless our representative as well as our nation. Even though it appears that we are so strongly divided, we know that you are able to bring us together. And so we look to you and we trust you to bring about and accomplish your perfect will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, uh, Representative Hudson. Thank and you. everyone, have a great day. It was short and sweet, but it was powerful. And so you might want to go back and watch the replay because we want to make sure that we are wise builders. Yes. God bless you.